Time for more on what these strikes say about France. Uh, Solange Mujan joins me in the studio. Solange, France has a reputation for being a country that strikes the most in the world. In fact, that's what my Uber driver was telling me this morning <laughs> since I had to take an Uber and not the train to get to work. But is that stereotype actually true? Well, it really depends on the numbers that you look at. And here, the statistics, well, they're actually all over the place. Every country has its own way of computing what exactly consists of a strike. The US, for example, it only counts strikes of over a thousand people. Italy, as another example, it doesn't publish its figures because it says that they're not reliable enough anymore. And Spain doesn't count general strikes in its figures, but it computes smaller ones. But it is safe to say the obvious that France does have a strong strike culture and a history of striking. Uh, if we take statistic as figures then, uh, yes, France has the most strikes per 1,000 workers, with the nation being neck and neck with Denmark. Uh, if we take the OECD's figures, it puts Costa Rica on top, and then Denmark, and then France. But that study was disputed because it took into account the number of days that workers uh, couldn't get to their jobs, not just the strikers. And then we have the European Trade Union Institute's numbers. Its latest figures put Cyprus on top. Now, of course, these figures are old. Some uh, stop in, uh, in 2016, 2017, and they often also cover a decade. And there's actually a reason for that. Uh, if you compare decades, it tells you more about the strike culture and the longer trends rather than one year being particularly active in strikes or not. Now, the European Trade Union Institute actually found that France, since 2000, uh, strikes have been dropping here. Uh, of course, there are years where there are spikes, like 2010, like 2019, and more recently with last year's pension reform strikes. Now, of course, it's premature to call this a full-on downward trend, uh, but how and why French workers are striking may be changing, and France is actually not alone in these shifts. In Germany, for example, there's been an upward trend in labor strikes. But again, you can't really fully compare these two countries, because in Germany, it's only trade unions that can call strikes. Whereas here in France, you also have a strong culture of political strikes as well. And today's strikes, Solange, are about wages and bonuses in the public sector during the Olympic Games. And of course, keeping in mind the Games are happening during July and August, which is the sacred holiday time where the mm. vast majority of French workers go off on their annual leave. But to what extent do these strikes actually work? Well, of course, it depends on a case-by-case -case, uh, situation. And here, there is a strong sentiment among strikers, hey, those workers got uh, good bonuses, we want them too. But beyond that, and on the whole, strikes have a long tradition of bearing fruit in France. If we go all the way back, it's uh, the wrath of the people that was behind the revolution. Then there's La Commune, or the insurrection in 1871, among working class people. Same for the 1930s strikes that transformed labor laws and made them as they, uh, somewhat as they are today. Then, of course, there are the national strikes of May 1968. And more recently, France has had protests against gay marriage, pension reforms, police brutality. And of course, there are these pretty much yearly uh, transportation strikes for wages. Now, these two are changing shape. Uh, with months uh, on end of strikes being a thing of the past. Now select days are chosen, select hours as well. This can actually help make them more effective, but it can also help workers uh, who do not get paid when striking. Not everyone knows this. You don't get uh, your salary when you strike, the days you strike. Now, according to the International Labor Organization, nearly all of the employees in Italy, Austria, France can collectively fight for better wages and conditions. It is a widespread right here that people people respect. But this does not mean that French labor unions are running the show in France. Only one in 10 workers in France belongs to a labor union that's below the OECD average. Uh, but this low figure actually may play a role in how and when workers strike. It is also a case with today's transportation strike. There is a tendency in France to uh, strike. On, globally, there's a tendency to strike first and then negotiate later rather than the other way around. And that also tells us something about France's work culture. Oh, yes. Indeed, it, it does. Thank you so much, uh, Solange.